Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beer Review. So today it is Sunday the 9th of July 2023. I've just got this beauty from the fridge. So it is ice cold. I know, fridge. What, what, what? Raggy? Fridge? But anyway, yeah. It's from Blue Monkey. It's their Gorilla Nitro English Stout. Um, like I say, part of their new craft beer range. And it says here, chill and pour hard. So... Yeah, I'll move my phone and because uh, I'm not the best at these sort of poor things. And uh, so it says here Gorilla Nitro English Stout 4.9% brewed in Canada and Blue Monkey Brewing Limited, uh, Giltbrook and Nottinghamshire NG16 2UZ. Um, and that's what it says. So we'll give it a pour. So chill, right here we go, chill and pour hard. Nitro for a smooth, creamy head. I'm new to this chilling and pouring our business, but. Did I do well? Thank gosh, the glass can take the extra. Here we go, look at that. I'm half impressed with myself. Look at the creaminess there. Ooh, have we got a Guinness contender here? 4.9, we're in that sweet Guinness zone. This, and do you know something? There's, um, you know, Guinness is the, the king of stouts, I suppose. You know, we've all got our own opinions on that. But to have your own version that can be as good as that, I mean, these people are spending loads of money on these nitro machines. But look at that bad boy. Lovely black pour. Light. We say a tan head on there. Nice thick head on there. And you've seen it live as well. Well, not live, but in, in straight in front of you. Roasty chocolate coffee notes on there. It's certainly got a depth of aroma that uh, the G1 hasn't. Oh, let's dive in. Cheers, everyone. Hope you're well. Oh, ice cold. That is absolutely top notch. I think this should be in all the uh, Blue Monkey pubs and other places. Somewhere like my workplace, um, both my workplaces, uh, hotels. Um, and there you go, look at that, there's the shop, there's the money shop. Blue monkey. Um, yeah, somewhere like my uh, workplaces, this would be great just to get it from the fridge. Buff. I will. Uh, There's a good envelope and a flavour around the mouth. There's a good aroma from it, but the flavour, chocolate, coffee, um, malt, the complexities, wow. And it's very early in the day as well. It's literally about half past 12 on a Sunday I'm doing this. I bet there's a timestamp on the video. Wow, that is nice. Um, like I say, put yourself in that zone where you're going up against the um, the major contenders. I mean, let's be fair. Anybody on on the crown is there to be knocked off their crown, aren't they? You know, that's that's the way of the world. And this, to me. There we go. You don't need no silly machines that cost 23 quid. Bash it in the fridge. And uh, pour hard, like I've done. And uh, thankfully, I did it right. And um, 
Yeah, it delivers. It totally delivers. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Might have to do a couple of versus videos, me thinks. I might have to go to the supermarket and uh, go and buy certain beers and do one versus one. I don't know if you can do re replicate this on keg. Well, I suppose you can. Uh, from, from a keg pour. I don't know. I don't know the, the intricacies about that. I'm only a drinker, not an actual beer person. Um, well, you'd imagine uh, if if I'm looking at a blue monkey now this and look at that um, this is very interesting because it, it puts you in that category of well Guinness is everywhere as we know we'll use the G word it is everywhere and you've got to compare yourself to what is the brand leader whether we like it or don't like it you know um, but that is a, a absolute not not only a contender but something that will rock Debs, rock that boat and and it's from nottingham as well H -A. wow so i'm gonna go grab a photo of that photo opportunity of course and do my bit of what i do best <laughs> i'm a gardener um but yeah absolutely so did it work hell yes would i drink this again hell yes out of five wow so remembering that it's a, uh, a 4.9 percent stout so you can't compare a 4.9 percent stout versus an imperial stout two different beasts but out of five for me a good 4.6 out of five which is a high score just in case you know i don't give scores much scores above that anyway but uh, that is a very good score and uh wow and hopefully it worked as it's supposed to work. It worked good for me. It looked great. Um, I'm not really knowledgeable with these nitro things. so But that worked bang on for me. And, uh, and that is it for this review. Not too long today. Yeah. Cheers.